Hi, this is Joe from Video Joomla Tutorials, and today we're going to talk about RSS feeds. And you say, well, what is an RSS feed? I've heard that that's a buzzword around the web. And basically what they are, uh, it's called really simple syndication, it, RSS being the acronym. And basically what that means is that you can syndicate your blog or music that you have on your site or videos or whatever, and people can subscribe to that and then be updated every time a new blog post comes out or a video or music or what have you. Um, so it's kind of a, a way that you can syndicate your own work. Uh, it's almost like you have a TV show if you think about it um, or a blog show or whatever that people get really interested in and they always want to see updates. So this is how you do that for yourself. And in another tutorial, I will show you how you can grab other people's feeds and use the content on your site for your benefit. So here we go. All we're going to do is create a module. So that's pretty simple. The first thing that we need to do is decide what position that we want it in. Um, so you can do that by going Extensions, Template Manager. We'll grab the template that it's going to be in. Go to Preview. Okay, and see we have a couple different ones, uh, but we'll probably go to this module one rounded spot right here on the left. Okay, now we'll go to, well we got to close this screen out here. Extensions module manager because we have to make ourselves a new uh, new module and new for the new module and syndicate then we got to come up with the title for it Okay, we'll call it blog feed. Probably don't want to see the title for this one. You'll find yourself doing that a lot. Then we'll go down to the module position one. Uh, we want it to be for the public. And then um, position we want it as high as we can get it to go. Um, although we're probably going to have to manually change the position there. Okay, and then let's select what page we want it on. Um, and I think what we are going to go for is the web answers because that's a blog. It's an informational blog. Caching, never. Uh, text, we can put whatever we want in here to show up. So... We'll just put in that for now. And what format? I always do RSS 2.0, but I mean you can do Atom 1 as well. And then module class suffix, you would normally do that if you want to do some CSS on the module. And then we're going to click Save. And we'll go to Preview. Now I think our positioning is going to be off. Yeah, see it's down below here and we really want it up there. Probably also would make sense to change the text a little bit so it matched. And like I said, we can do that kind of stuff later on with CSS, but we're not going to deal with it right now. So we'll go out of this and the first thing that we're going to do is change the position. And as you see here, here's all your different modules on the website and then this is their position and you can move use these up and down arrows to move them up and down so we'll just take this here and move her on up and what we're going to try and get above is I think there's a thing on comments here We'll just get it right next to this Facebook share. Yep, 
You can also do that by changing these numbers, but since you have so many there in the zero category that we're trying to keep high. And then we said we were going to go back into it and change this text. Maybe that will look a little better. Hit save again. Preview. And go back to Web Answers. And we're right here, right underneath the Facebook. Now, what happens when somebody's actually on this page? If they're if they're on the page and they're reading it and they like what it has to say. They can click right here, subscribe to our blog, and boom, this comes up. And then um, they can actually uh, subscribe to it on this feed reader. And uh, that's how to set up um, a RS, an RSS feed on your Joomla website.